Um, I love, first of all, I love the fans. There's like, you wouldn't think in a small town like Macon that there would be a lot of fans coming to the games, but there's a lot of people that love hockey and love to come watch us play. So that's, I love that feeling. Um, the weather, obviously, uh, once everything starts cooling down at home and starts snowing, I can still lay out by the pool here, you know what I mean? And kind of relax and enjoy the sun. So that, the warm weather is nice too. Uh, I love the, the weather, obviously. It's nice, uh, the winters up north can get pretty harsh. And uh, down here, the weather's always been good from what I've seen so far. And like, it's a growing hockey market down here still. So that's nice to see as well. Oh, it's awesome. It's it's a lot like home. It's a Southern Bible Belt area. And uh, it's a hop, skip and a jump away from Dallas for the most part. So my family gets to come visit a lot. And the, it's just, it's really relatable for me as far as like the town and the fans and just the people and the way of life around here. It's pretty similar to Dallas, believe it or not. So. Uh, I take I take a lot away from that, and I just take like the pride that the fans do have in hockey because it takes a lot to be a fan down in the south, as as everybody knows. And you know the the southern fan bases are some of the most popular now and some of the most passionate. Probably just the community. Um, you know, I love the people around here, and um, the fans are great. And then uh, you know, I feel like every year it's getting better and better. So. We'll see how it's going to go this year with the fans. I want to uh, begin my professional career and uh, um, the opportunity came up and I was very excited about it. So heard great things about Macon and the mayhem. So uh, The heat can't be the heat. I know my uh, back home it's, gets to about zero right now in the mornings and at night. So I'm loving this, uh, I guess it's 90 degree weather, 30 degree where I'm from. Well, I love Leo. He's a good coach. He's a great guy. He's personable. Uh, Mike is a great coach too. He's a smart hockey player. It's a, he's going to help me improve my game immensely. He's already done that already last year, so I'm excited to get back at that. And the weather in Macon, you just can't beat it. It's a great time. It's got a mash of like, you know, it's like not too hot, not too humid, but it can get like that. But at the end of the day, like you can't beat nice going to, uh, coming here and coming with uh, sandals and shorts on every day. It's a good time. So yeah, I think everyone's saying the weather is pretty nice here and uh, the coaching staff and just the group of guys. It's uh, really interesting for me because it's uh, different hockey, small ice rink. It's so interesting, more hits and more shots. Uh, I think uh, the team itself, you know, the guys really come together as one. And uh, I think the biggest thing obviously is the fan support, uh, you know, making whether we're winning or losing, we always have our fans supporting us, and I think that's the biggest thing that keeps bringing guys back. It just feels like home to me now. I've been here for, what well, was three years ago, but even three years ago, I've always thought about this place. Winning a championship is the goal for everybody when they come to a season, and with us winning it and having a great time um, and being so successful, it made me want to come back, so. Um, I think just the culture uh, surrounding the team, you know, everybody that comes to the games are really intense, uh, cares a lot about the community. Um, everybody's kind of connected in one unique kind of way, so it's pretty cool to see. Uh, well, for starters, it's nice to get away from the cold weather for a little bit. Um, you know, back home it gets, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but back home about negative 30. So uh, not going into the negatives or below 32 for Fahrenheit is always nice. But, uh, you know, just the fans and the atmosphere that they bring and the sense of community that uh, that Mayhem kind of, you know, us as a team and the community have established over the years and have kept going. You know, it's, it's something that is enticing to people that want to come back here. Great hockey level. Uh... It's always cool to know people from different countries. I'm kind of trying to be a team guy, sure. not too Russian, you know, smile more. So I'm looking forward to spend a good year here. I think it's just the atmosphere. I mean, uh, when you first think of hockey down south, you don't think of, you know, the passion that we have back home. but. Uh, you see with the booster club and the staff and everyone that's put you know their time into it like there, there's a lot of a pride here in making that I love that about the, the team that's for sure. Uh, it's just a good organization uh, John Seymour brought me down here my first year just because we went to school together and uh, ever since I've enjoyed it down here and it's just a good place to play hockey. Uh, I would say the coaching um, <laughs> I've been in this league for a few years now and um, having Leo being someone fresh out of like being a player 
uh, coming in. Uh, he's got a great style of coaching, and I feel like I've learned a lot at the end of last season, and I'm excited for a full year with him. Uh, you know, just uh, good coaching. Like, grew up playing against Leo a little bit a couple years, so, you know, I kind of knew his style of play and whatnot. And, uh, uh, you know, he's a little bit of a grinder, like pretty good skilled player. He could do it all, so it was, you know, it was tough those nights playing against him, but uh, he'd always keep me on my toes, so. Obviously, it's a great group of guys here, so looking, uh, you know, to bring another championship back to Macon. Yeah, I, I think first off, it's the passionate fan base and just the culture here. Uh, and it starts from the coaches, Leo and Mike's. They they do a great job with us, and um, you know, and then it just trickles down from the office, the office folks to the team and the guys, and uh, just the community in general has been great. So, couldn't wait to get back down here.